What follows are my impressions of the organization called the Shadow Operatives, as well as their leader, Mitsuru Kirijo. Looks like this may take some time. I'm sorry about the wait. Allow me to introduce myself. I see you're enough on the ball that you don't need a lengthy introduction. Good. Have you heard of the Kirijo group? I doubt there are many who haven't. I'll get right to the point. We'd like to hire you to perform a Sub Rosa investigation on them. You need a corporation quietly investigated. Why me? I don't see what I can do that your own department cannot. I would agree if shadows and personas weren't involved. <gasps> One summer 12 years ago, there was an explosion at the Kirijo-owned Tatsumi Port Island, killing over 50 people. You would have been very young at the time. I've reviewed that case. The official explanation was that a gas main leaked during a construction project. Afterwards, though, a bizarre rumor saw quite a bit of circulation. 
The mass media noticed that there was a suspiciously large number of researchers amongst the casualties. They floated the theory that the official explanation was a lie, and that the explosion was really caused by some dubious experiment. No concrete evidence was ever found to support those claims, though. As I recall, the matter was left unsettled. Some may still remember the incident, though I don't think many could recall the finer points. Those rumors were all true. What? Those researchers under Koetsu Kirijo, the old Kirijo group manager, were working on harnessing the power of shadows. The experiment went awry, and they lost control of the shadows. That's what caused the explosion. Experiments using shadows? They lost control? Are you saying the shadows flooded the city? The real world? I can't speak to that. There was no way of getting hard answers back then. No one took the spooky story seriously. But that accident got the government and the police's attention. Though, they didn't launch an investigation until a year or two ago. Only those in the Kirijo group know exactly what happened and how much of the aftermath was dealt with. The aftermath? Their cleanup efforts continued until quite recently. They were using some method known only to them, entirely behind our backs. We think they've been conducting illegal activities in the ten years since then, while hiding behind their cleanup efforts. And you wish for me to confirm this? Not only do you have a relationship with us, you have a persona and extensive experience in the field. We can't think of a better candidate. And since I'm not directly affiliated with the police, if I were to be caught in a trap, it wouldn't lead back to you. If that's the way you want to put it. Last year, in conjunction with the Kirijo group, we established an unofficial department in the force, nicknamed the Shadow Operatives. It's a special unit capable of dealing with shadow-related cases. This is news to my ears. That's a rather bold move. You went so far as to join forces with the ones you suspect of illicit activities? That's exactly why we did it. We must keep a leash on them by integrating them into the system. But the police are far behind information-wise. Officially, you are higher on the chain of command, but less so in practice. You'd need some leverage to keep your hold on them. Thus, this secret investigation. What exactly do you want me to do? That will depend on your answer. If you think we're hiring you to further our organization, you're mistaken. Our sources say it's possible that they've been talking students from Makirijo own school into doing their dirty work. They've been pleading ignorance while making ordinary kids clean up whatever messes they've left. And that we don't forgive. We're supposed to be upholding the law. We can't overlook things like this. Uh, 
All right, in that case, I accept. Though I don't plan on abandoning my school life here, I'll do what I can to help, but only within those limits. That's fine with us. At the end of this month, the Kirijo group is airlifting some special cargo. Kirijo has asked our help in making sure the cargo is transported safely. We'd like you to accompany them as a police observer. What do they mean, transported safely? A police escort, assurance of no public investigation if any unforeseen situation were to arise, things like that. Of course, if anything does happen, we will hold them responsible. And what is this special cargo? It's something to do with the shadow research. They've admitted that much, but we don't know the exact details. According to our research, it's most likely something from the old ergonomics research laboratory, classified as risk level 4. In other words, even though it's sealed up tight, it's extremely dangerous. Also, This woman will be on that flight. Her name is Mitsuru Kirijo. Kirijo. She's the oldest daughter of the Kirijo family, Koetsu Kirijo's granddaughter. It was he who devised the experiments 12 years ago. You should know that she's also a powerful persona user. We believe she took the lead in gathering students three years ago, when she was still in high school. We'd like you to first go to her residence and meet with her. All right. I'm sure you figured out by now, since she's a high-ranking Kirijo group official and a Persona user, but she's a shadow operative. She's member number one, the general manager. And not because she's a Kirijo, but because she has the abilities to back it up. Can you do this? If she's dirty, then this won't be easy for you. I already accepted your assignment, so I must simply make the best of it.
Nice to meet you. My name is Naoto Shiragane. I'll be acting as an observer today. I've been told about you. It's nice meeting you as well. I'm Mitsuru Kirijo. I didn't expect the police's observer to be so young. Does that bother you? Oh, uh, no. I didn't mean to downplay your abilities. Forgive me. Tell me, what are the contents of your cargo? I'm ashamed to have to admit this, but since the original researchers have passed away, we don't know what's in it either. We can't allow the worst case scenario for such an item to come to pass in the middle of a city. That's why we plan to transfer these items to a distant facility according to their indicated risk level. Then I'll stay near the cargo along with the police escort. I'll contact you immediately if anything happens. All right. If anything is unclear to you, feel free to ask me. Yakushima, huh?
aircraft squawk code has changed to 7500. 7500. Seventy five hundred, a hijacking. Is it the cargo they want? If that was the case, the hijacking is only a decoy. But would they really risk their lives hijacking a plane over one piece of cargo? This is 002, over. A suspicious vehicle is leaving the scene. Stay in pursuit. It's a large vehicle, about two tons. License plate? Personnel on scene. The suspects have been apprehended. The hijacking is over. I repeat. They dealt with it so soon?
What's going on here? Operator to 002, over. The hijacking has been dealt with, but the transfer must be canceled. The whereabouts of one piece of cargo cannot be confirmed. All indications are that it has been stolen. Then that vehicle earlier. Are you still in pursuit? We're tracking it through the end system. Head to the guest room immediately so we can discuss our response. Understood. That was a very tidy operation. I had thought it would take at least half a day. To put it delicately, we had someone with special abilities handling this. Then again, though we prevented any harm from coming to the hostages, we lost the cargo. Nothing for it, I suppose. Who would have expected an entire hijacking to cover up the theft of some cargo? I must apologize to you as well. I was the closest at hand when it happened. No, you did more than enough. It's thanks to your sharp eyes that we're able to track the suspicious vehicle now. I'm impressed that you realized in all the chaos that the cargo was the true target. You even spotted their getaway truck. Thank you. Our next step should be to interrogate the suspects in custody and... Sadly, it won't be that simple. I haven't heard much yet, but it seems they're having unexpected difficulties with the interrogation. It will take some time. Hmm. If they were prepared to risk their lives for this operation, I suppose they won't break so easily. We made an error in judgment. We were too focused on preventing the item itself from doing any damage. But since they targeted something so unusual, that should narrow down the suspect pool. I can't deny it's possible that someone connected to the Kirijo group is behind this. Thank you for your assistance, Shiragane. I'm sorry to have involved you in this mess, but the professionals will take it from here. Does that mean my work here is done? I'm afraid so. We do value your cooperation. Things have taken an unexpected turn. This case is under the jurisdiction of the Shadow Operatives now. That will make it very difficult to continue my secret investigation. But right now you're the only one we have who's gotten that close. We heard you earned Kirijo's trust after the hijacking. We'd like you to keep up your investigation. We're currently making arrangements for you to pick it up again in a natural way. What are you going to have me do? I will not act as a spy. I'll be in touch later.
Yes, Shirogane speaking. Hi, Nato-kun. Oh, I'm not interrupting your work, am I? No, it's quite all right. Sorry to call so late. I wanted to at least give it one more shot about tomorrow. I'm sorry, but it seems I still won't be able to make it. I'm actually not in Inaba at the moment, to be honest. Oh, yeah, you mentioned that. Oh, then I guess you can't check even if it rains. Even if it rains? Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. It's okay now, Takun. I know there are people who'll be in trouble without you. You need to stay there and help them out. Yes, well... It really is a shame. Give my regards to Senpai and the others, won't you? Will do! Good luck with the job! Any train would make it in time. It seems we may be back on for the secret investigation. Mitsuru Kirijo just requested our cooperation. We agreed. A detective by the name of Kurosawa will be heading out tomorrow. We want you to accompany him to the rendezvous point. Kurosawa is willing to leak you whatever info he learns about the Kirijo group through his cooperation with them. I'm surprised he agreed to that. Hasn't he assisted Kirijo-san and her group in the past? I'm afraid that's something you'll have to ask him about, although he seems to have his own agenda. I'm Kurosawa. I'm Naoto Shiragane. Thank you for your assistance. I've heard rumors about you, Ace Detective. Let's get going. You seem pretty listless. Oh no, I'm fine. Where are we headed, by the way? The place where they found the getaway car from the hijacking. A town called Inaba. It's a small place with an odd history. They just had a bizarre serial murder case there last year. 
Inaba. Well, that's your hometown, right? Isn't that why they're sending you? The request I got from the Shadow Operatives was to assist in gathering information about those murders. They want me to meet with a supervising detective of that case and ask him for the full story. <laughs> Not only are they part of public safety, they're an unofficial unit. They can't come to the district police for information. Why him? Is his case related to the robbery in some way? Public safety is sharper than you might think. They do basic reviews on all cases to see if shadows were involved. Inaba is on their watch list now. And with that cargo being brought there, they naturally suspect a connection between the cases. Hmm. Kurosawa-san, may I ask you something? Why are you working with public safety? <laughs> You're asking that now? I thought that would be your very first question. You can spy on Mitsuru Kirijo and her shadow operatives to your heart's content and never find anything suspicious. But for that to be understood, at some point or another, everything she does has to be investigated to eliminate those doubts. In which case, it's better someone like you do the investigating than someone official who will never understand. That's all there is to it. Thank you for your cooperation. I'll leave the rest in your hands. Is that the fabled humanoid weapon?
They're not planning to enter a TV from here, are they? The other members will wait here in the car. Yeah. If we all barge in and something happens, we'll be devastated. Now that you mention it, at least one of us should be staying behind as well. I am not staying. <laughs> us three will be plenty. We'll end this in a flash. No problem. <laughs> The same as always. Although, huh? we have no idea what might be waiting for us on the other side. Don't get careless. Right. <clears throat> this situation... It brings back memories. <laughs> Ready! Why enter the TV? What's going on? Is the stolen cargo inside the TV? They're determined to enter the TV despite not knowing the risks. I can hardly allow cowardice to prevent me from following.
Impossible. How could there be this many people in the TV world? students a new legend is about to start be the manliest of all men come on down nobody touches his precious nanako the sister complex kingpin of steel you narukami it's only natural wage slave in the boonies by day hero by night captain resantamo yosuke hanamura everything that bores me has got to go a spunky dragon with deadly legs! The carnivore who's discarded womanhood, Shie Satunaka! You need to eat more meat! Please escort me to the ring, my prince! The unconquerable Snow Black, Yukiko Amagi! I'll finish you in one strike! Blooming roses and bulging muscles! The blood-curdling beefcake emperor, Kanji Tatsumi! Deep into realms of romance! The body of a child, the brain of a genius, the 2000 IQ Killjoy Detective, Naoto Shirogane! Is this an army of idiots? Fight! And survive towards the one throne waiting at the end! The P1 Grand Prix where fierce fights will be fought! The battle begins tonight! What? Teddy was acting as the host for this. That's Rise-san. I'm proud to announce the commencement of our very own P1 Grand Prix! And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the challenger in our first battle. Nauta Shirogane! What? Teddy, what is the meaning of this? Didn't you watch the intro video? It's a fighting tournament! I gathered as much, but I was asking why you would do such a thing. Hitting friend against friend in battle is going too far for a joke. It's not a joke, though! I'm giving this 100%! 
just like I always do. Now get out there now, John. Show me everything you got. You're not making any sense. Besides, there's... What the? Are these students an illusion someone is creating? It's been a while, Naoto. Senpai? Why are you here? I promised I'd come back during Golden Week. Don't tell me you forgot. No? Of course I remembered. It's just, I didn't expect to see you here. I could say the same thing. I heard you couldn't make it because of your job. Yes. Actually, I'm here on matters related to my work. It came as a surprise to me as well. Huh. Looks like you're as uninterested in socializing as always. Everyone says that though they think of you as a friend, they never get the same vibe from you. Th that's not true! I just happen to be busy with a case. But even now's not... Work, work, work. I guess work's all you care about in the end. Even now, I'd say you're more concerned with your work than us. Ah, I get it. Hanging out with people outside work is a burden for you. It's like an invasion of your privacy. Senpai? Relax. I'll help get you knocked out of the tournament so you can get back to the work you love so much. What? Are you serious? What a reunion this is turning into. If I must fight you, I will.
Naoto, are you okay? Yes. Thank goodness. Huh? I mean, are you all right too, Senpai? I'm sorry for hurting you, even though the circumstances demanded it. Oh, everything's fine here. You're back to the usual Naoto, I see. The usual? Can you tell me what's going on here? I was shocked to see it looking completely different than before. Indeed. But it seems, at least in part, to be an illusion. Really? In fact, the students gathered to watch our battle were not real. Oh yeah. It did seem like shadows, but different somehow. I didn't get the sense that they were hostile, though. I thought that Risei-san and Teddy might have been illusions too, but both have gone missing. And given their persona abilities... It's possible that that really was them. But we should have faith. If our enemy can use illusions, they might be victims as well. You're right. I can at least have more faith in my friends than that. Speaking of which, why are you here, Naoto? That's... Hey, you know, forget I asked. I'm just happy to see you again. Me too. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. What's the matter now? I mean, well, about me being unsociable. Please understand that it's not because my work is more important than my friends. Huh? I've never thought that about you at all. I don't think any of us have. Senpai. Up the almighty sensei. But now it's time for you to go on. Your next opponent's already waiting. Well, then, we should get going. What the? An invisible wall? What is this? And how come you can pass through? Did I 
forget to tell you? Only the winner can move on to the next fight. No one's getting out of this school until a champion's been crowned! Only the one who fights to the very end and comes out on top can leave! <sighs> so neither opponent can leave the area unless they fight each other. You go on ahead, Naoto. I'll try and find a way to catch up. Very well. Be careful, Senpai. I will. See you later. I've said it before, but I don't intend to fight my friends. Alrighty, let's do this! Bring out the next opponent! Yo, yo, yo! How's it hanging now, doll? Kanji-kun? You know, I've been thinking, the way you talk is so lame. Huh? It's like way too uptight and goody goody. It makes you sound so distant, you dig? Uh, is that so? See, that, that's what I'm talking about. You could have just said, oh, you think so? You, you think so? Ah, now you're getting it. Now I feel like I'm on your wavelength. Thanks. Then again, relatability aside, I feel like you were miles away from me to begin with. Hey, you're doing it again. What's with the Miss Manners Act? I'm sorry. It's a habit of mine. Or maybe it's that you don't care about getting close to us, huh? You don't feel like you gotta bother getting to know us and stuff? Of course I don't think. Hell no, man. You never warm up to anyone because you set your standards so goddamn high. Oh dear, he's shown his true self. Is it you know what? Are you putting on a show of not letting anyone near you because you got no confidence in yourself? Is that it? Kanji-kun... You're so nervous. Your height, your body, that girly voice. Let me give you a little lesson in manliness. I hope you're ready for the pain. Wait a second. I didn't say any. Ugh. Let's <laughs> go! 
Kanchi-kun, are you all right? Of course I am. Your attacks are like little bug bites. I just let my guard down, that's all. Are you... really okay? I was told that the others lost contact with you, so... How did you come to be here? How? Well, I, uh... It was a... change of pace? You came into the TV for a change of pace? Did something happen? I'm willing to listen if you'd like to talk about it. Something to talk about? I mean, wait, not, not that I don't want to talk to you. Like, it's, it's not that I do want to talk or that I don't want to... Anyways, it's just sometimes a man wants to go inside a TV by himself. I'm not sure I follow. Off my back, will you? I didn't come in here because I like it. Actually, no. That is why I came. Because I like this place. I just don't understand why you're being so loud about it and blushing so fiercely. I wasn't blushing. Besides, it, it was all your fault. You, you're the one that was, uh, well, being all, you know. Me? What are you talking about? You want me to come out and say it? Jeez. I thought you'd gone crazy because of that. Me? Crazy? You were the one who was acting oddly, calling me now doll and whatnot. N now doll? Why would I call you that? Hmm. Wait a second. Acting strangely. Of course. An illusion. Huh? I believe we were both under the illusion that the other had lost their mind. That's why neither of us remembers saying what the other heard. Illusions, huh? It must be a scheme to make friends fight each other. But if that's the case... The ability to interfere with other senses, the prior knowledge of us, putting it all together, it must be. Must be what? The Teddy acting as the tournament's host, as well as Risei-san, must be genuine. You moron, there's no way it's them. That Ted and Risei are fakes, come on! They're not twisted like that, you of all people ought to know. Who else, then? Oh, you know, there is someone here besides us. I saw her on my way here. Some girl with long hair. A girl? Did she happen to be wearing a white fur shawl and combat gear beneath it? Her? What are you talking about? She had on a normal Yasuo girl's uniform and her hair was, like, tied back. A female student with tied back hair? Call anyone like that. I'll keep it in mind. Well, I should be moving on. Hold on, I'll come with. Wait, what the hell? The rules seem to dictate that only the victor can proceed. I'll come for you later. 
Don't bother. I'll figure this out myself somehow. That aside, you beat me. You better make sure you're the champion in the end. That's completely irrelevant to the larger objective. I thought you were... This is a problem. I didn't think we'd run into each other so soon. I'm surprised to see you here would be an understatement. Huh. <laughs> the silent treatment. How ridiculous that you, who lives a lie, would dig up other people's hidden secrets for a living. Hmm. You seem gentle, but you maintain an aloof distance that keeps people at arm's length. I've thought that since our first meeting. At first, I thought it must be typical of a detective, but that doesn't seem to be the case. You simply lack confidence in yourself. You hide your true nature because you know that once you grow close to someone, you'll no longer be able to protect your pride. That's why you won't let anyone in. You use your job as a pretext to keep your distance and never get too attached. And it's from that position that you're trying to discover what others are hiding? <laughs> How contradictory. Not to mention completely ridiculous and unfair. Persona. I'd dearly like to answer your charges, but I see no need. There is no reason to defend myself against the accusations of an illusion.
stronger than you look. It seems you're a skilled fighter. And a Persona user as well, huh? I'd like to clear something up. Before our battle, I may have said or done some things that seem disrespectful, but... I understand. We were shown illusions to goad us into fighting each other. So you already knew. You are a credit to the Shiragami main. In that case, I'll... Well, I'm willing to forget all the things you said about me. Hmm. Though, if you're a Persona user, that gives weight to two of my theories. One is that you were one of those who solved last year's serial murders. The few proud anonymous heroes. The other is that you were one of my enemies. You were an observer at the hijacking, which means a Persona user was sent specifically. Yet you hid that from me. Somehow I doubt you were there just to watch over the cargo. <sighs> if my suspicions aren't off base, then there's something I must say. Shiragami, can I ask for your cooperation once again? What? You know more about this world than I do, and since I lost our match, I will be unable to move on from here. Wait a moment. I thought you distrusted me. Even if I did, is continuing to oppose each other the wisest course of action? As you have guessed, we are here in pursuit of the stolen cargo. Upon investigation, we figured out that it contained the fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon, Labrys. She was a machine, developed as one of a series of test models. They were intended to receive personas in order to combat shadows. Isn't a persona the manifestation of one's strength of heart? How could a machine be capable of using a persona? You're right to ask that. Labrys has a mind of her own. We don't know what she looks like, but it's probably very close to human. Around the time of the robbery, we began to see activity in this world as well. I doubt this is a coincidence. I feel sure that your Labrys is connected to this ridiculous tournament. I agree. I accept your earlier proposal, and I think I'd best hurry. Thank you, and I'm sorry. Your friends must be facing their own troubles. It's possible that they've met Labrys without knowing it, too. They'll be all right, I'm sure. The record showed that Labrys had some unknown experimental equipment, 
We don't know what she's capable of. Don't take her lightly. Oh, no, that isn't what I meant. She has a heart, yes? Then fighting her isn't our only option. She can be saved. I'm sure the others will reach the same conclusion. I see. Oh, yes, I meant to ask. Have you been able to contact your friends? No. Two of them have analysis-capable personas, but both of them have gone missing. I actually have a few powers in that area myself. Can you tell me what these friends of yours look like? Huh. A bear costume and a girl. Are they... Yes, they're the ones acting as hosts for this tournament, but they're not usually like this. I see. Well, anyway, knowing that will make searching for them easier. Let me see. I'm getting a match some ways from here. It's not moving, either. Aha! I found her. <gasps> Can you hear me? Huh? Who, is, Who this? is this? My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm with one of your friends, Shiragane. Rise-san! Naoto-kun, is it really you? Yes, though I could ask the same of you, Rise-san. I'm so glad! This weird fake teddy kidnapped me and then everyone was fighting each other and... It's all right. Please calm down. Do you know where you are right now? It looks like an announcement room, but there are these invisible walls stopping me from leaving. Plus, the fake Teddy is watching me, so I can't use my persona. Oh, right. Oh, right. Um, um, thanks. thanks. Kirijo-san, Kirijo -san, right? right? Wait, Wait Kirijo? Kirijo? I know that name. That name? Well, it's not, it's important, not important, Al. Al. Are, you Are you a persona, persona user, user, too? user, too? Yes, but we can discuss that later. I sense a shadow-like presence very close to your position. Are you all right? The only thing near here, here is the fake is the Teddy. Teddy. Wait, is that, is what, that you're what you're talking, talking about? about? So it's a shadow. Shiragana, you need to hurry on. I'll try to maintain communication as best I can and keep you in the loop. All right, then. I'm off. Stay safe.
just like you're chugging right along. And now, another special guest for you. The gloves may be off putting you up against this one, so I want to see your best moves out there, Nachan. Now, bring out the next opponent! You're Akihiko Sanada, as I recall. Interesting. I've been gone for a while, and here I meet a stranger who knows who I am. You're a member of Mitsuru Kirijo's organization. Her friend, actually, no? I see. So it's really Mitsuru you're interested in, Ace Detective. Look at you. You have the physique of a 12-year-old. What? A detective needs a strong body more than a strong brain. All-night research sessions, long stakeouts, you need stamina for that. But look at those twiggy arms and legs of yours. You've got an overdeveloped chest, but from the looks of it, I'd say it's all fat and no muscle. Seriously. What? Let me teach you the secret to bodybuilding. First thing, protein. Second thing, protein. Third, fourth, and fifth, more protein. Don't you think that's rather unbalanced? And finally, you gotta spar. One, two, ha! Ah! Stop it, Akihiko! Mitsuru? You're under the effects of an illusion. Shiragane has done nothing. Do not attack. What do you mean? He's the one who attacked me all of a sudden. I attacked? From my perspective, it was you who dealt the first blow. We were both being shown an illusion to make us fight each other. Shiragane is an excellent detective and a Persona user. I told him everything. He's agreed to cooperate with us. He was originally on the scene as a police observer in this case, so we've already met. noise-like phenomenon that bogs your senses is already gone. You should be able to communicate normally now. Looks like I fell for a cheap trick. I'm sorry for forgetting myself, too. I can't even claim to have been unaware of the deception. So you're a Persona user, huh? Well, since fate already brought us together... Want to test your skills before you move on? Akihiko, you're doing it again. Just cooperate with him. All right, all right. Come on, Naoto. Let's go. Oh, wait. The tournament rules say...
Are you alright? What's the matter? What happened? I don't know. There's some kind of invisible wall here. The rules dictate that only the winner of each match can advance. So, uh... So we need to have a match, even though we've got nothing against each other. We're fighting after all then, huh? Alright then, come at me! Please, go easy on me. a great bout. You're good. About? What an annoying rule. Hmm? Wait a second. That reminds me. I saw that guy calling himself General walking with a girl. If only one person can move on, that's against the rules. Do you remember the details of what this girl looked like? If that girl was Lavras, then, well, is it possible we're dealing with her shadow? shows any connection between Lavras and Yasagami High. On top of which, I don't see how she'd know about you or your friends. Much, Kiri Jason. You'll have to forgive me for my meager skills as well. My persona's communication powers are more for operational assistance. A friend of mine from school was much stronger than myself in that respect, but. Oh no, it's all that stupid bear's fault anyway. He's a real genius for making people worry. Man, it's strange running into so many Persona users I've never heard of all at once. <laughs> I gotta say, it brings back memories. 
for us too, we were as surprised as you. Not to say that the possibility of other Persona users hadn't crossed our minds, but to actually meet them. What you said about a friend from school kind of reminds me of us too. What was school like for you? I'd like to hear about it. Well, ignoring Akihiko's current appearance, he was a boxing champion in his student days. Hey, that dig was uncalled for. After that, I don't know what went through his brain, but he started saying he wanted to search for stronger opponents. He went on a journey to hone his skills? I thought that only happened in comics and old samurai films. I thought I had to do it, so I did it. That's all. Wait. What's this I'm sensing? It's like a shadow, but bigger. Huh? What's going on? That fake teddy left the announcement room. are here too. We'll rescue you in no time. Wait, why is Naoto here? Natsukun, the fake Teddy's back! I'm too late. Huh? What the? Is that the real Teddy? Hey, the real Teddy's here too! He's got some girl with him. I don't know her. Risei-san? Risei-san! Son. Look out! <gasps> Not so good.
What should we do? That girl wasn't normal. She wasn't even human. I know it sounds hard to believe, but she's a robot or something. She defeated Teddy and, um... Calm down. Are you talking about Labrys? The riddle is solved then. You're not the real Teddy. You're only a shadow taking his form. The shadow of Labrys here, to be precise. Aha! No wonder they call you the Detective Prince now, Chan. You cracked the case! But even if you figured it out, there's still nothing you can do. What? This is all just a bad dream. I've got to destroy everything. I'm human. Risei-san, please stay back. I will stop her, no matter what. you fair and square. You really are useless, Labby-chan. Your whole reason for being is to fight. And you can't even do that. You're not worth a damn. You don't need to exist anymore.
I am a shadow. The true self. That's... my face. Huh. You don't want to remember? Fine. You can die like that. Stop it! <laughs> What's this? Why are you protecting her? It's her fault you all had to fight each other, you know. You want the everyday boys and girls to experience what you had to go through. Right? That's why we're in a school, having a fighting tournament? My home was a horrible place. They made us fight and kill each other just to collect combat data. It hurt so much, but no one understands. How can I make them see? I know. I'll force friends to fight each other. Maybe then they'll understand. No. I want to make them understand. That's not what I want! Oh, yeah? Then let me take over from here. I'll destroy everyone who pretends to understand, just like you did before. Stop! I've had enough! Labrys! Risei-san, you watch Labrys and Teddy. I got him. Good luck, Nato-kun. Yes, I'll save her. Are you all right?
I didn't have the chance to introduce myself. I'm Naoto Shiragane. You're Labrys, is that correct? I can't claim to understand your pain. It was only today that I learned you existed, to say nothing of the weapons program from which you sprung. But there is one thing I do understand. Look carefully at me. Do I seem like a man or a woman to you? Uh, what do you mean? You and I are alike. There is such a gulf between what we yearn to be and what we are that we have trouble accepting our true nature. Our true nature? Just as I cannot break the glass ceiling of my profession, you cannot become human. That is the painful truth. But if we were able to change, would that truly bring us happiness? I feel there is something only you or I can offer, because of who we really are. There's something a machine like me can offer? Even if there is something like that, there's no place I belong. That's not true. I'm not human either, but I work at Juness. The part-time ladies give me sweets sometimes and everything! The heart is always lacking something. It may be that you and I will be troubled by this same thing for the rest of our lives. But please don't forget that you're not alone anymore. I'm... not alone. Don't worry, you're not alone. That's right! I'll stick to you like glue! And it won't be just us. I'm sure you'll make lots of friends with everyone in town. Really? A machine? Like me? They said, it's okay to be me. Doesn't that make you happy too? I'm so sorry I locked you up inside me for all that time. But we'll be okay now. I'm not alone. And you're not either, right? I'm sorry I ignored you all this time. I was the one who left you all alone. me after all Labrys, there are some people from the Kurijo group here looking for you. I wonder if they'll stick me back in that box again. <laughs> of course they will. After all, I caused a lot of trouble. What else are they gonna do? I can't say anything about that for certain. But you should talk with them. It's your right to be where you belong. Yeah. You're right. Is 
everyone all right? Whoa, Senpai! Uh, you're back from the city already? Never mind him, Kanji-kun. What about you? What have you been doing all this time? Yo, Naoto. <laughs> Guess you made the big meetup after all, huh? I swear, we're tied together by fate or something. Actually, is that the real you, Teddy? <sighs> You're so blind sometimes, Yosuke. Risei-chan, I'm so glad you're safe. Senpai, you're all here! You must be Labrys. I'm Mitsuru Kirijo. You may have heard already, but I came to collect you. I... go back in that box or to that lab Mitsuru-san I'd like to ask that you consider her request Labrys's my sister's abilities will surely be useful to us please can't we enlist her on a trial basis and see what happens You're a robot, too. It's nice to meet you. I'm Aegis, the seventh generation anti-shadow suppression weapon. I'm your successor, sister. We're... sisters? I'd like to third their request. I'm well aware that I'm in no place to make demands on you, but... <laughs> I'm starting to feel like the bad guy. There's no need to worry. I wasn't thinking of sealing you away again. Really? You've awakened to your persona and gained control over it. True. I don't know for sure that the danger is past, but I don't feel that you need to be sealed off from humanity. Particularly since it's obvious that you have a heart. Kirijo-san. Labichan doesn't need to be all alone anywhere? <laughs> Yay! Uh, Naoto, sorry to interrupt, but who are these people? The kind of look like a bunch of freaks. Yeah, I mean, one of them's not even human. Uh, I guess she's a robot? Huh? Wait a sec. Kirijo? As in the Kirijo group? Wait, what? What's going on here?
I should introduce myself to the rest of you. I am Mitsuru Kirijo. I cannot tell you who I am affiliated with or my position, but I bear all responsibility for Labrys. This case, the whole disturbance was mainly due to us. I'm very sorry for putting you in such danger. Um, how do you know Mitsuru-san, Naoto-kun? That's... well... Shiragani was working with us. Since it was our first time in this world, he helped us safely reach Labrys. So, the job you had was to bring Mitsuru-san and the others here? Huh? Uh, well... That was basically it. I'm sorry, but there are some things he cannot disclose. I ask for your understanding in that regard. Sure, sure, detective stuff. I get ya. That's pretty cool. I really am no match for her. Well then, let's all go home! Alrighty, attention please! The trip doesn't end until we get out of the TV! Dude, you really gave us a scare. And this isn't the first time either. Uh, well, at least it ended well. You know, I understand about Risei-chan and Teddy, but why did Kanji-kun go missing again? Huh? Oh, well, because, uh... You needed a change of pace, no? What? Did I misspeak? You said something like, sometimes a man just wants to be alone inside a TV. As if! Alto, you bastard! Why'd you have to tell him that? Labrys? Get away from her! What's going on? I don't know! I can only tell that she's probably being controlled from outside. Shiragami! Labrys, why? Never mind, it can wait. Okay. Uh, 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 uh
Sister, are you all right? <sighs> My, to, to think, think she'd, she'd fall, fall so easily. easily. I hope that she'd provide more entertainment. entertainment. What, what a disappointment. Now to Kun's shadow? Why? I thought you disappeared. Who are you? Once, Once you've gained, gained your persona, persona you're, you're not, not supposed, supposed to see your shadow again. again. That's, That's what, what you thought, thought isn't, isn't it? it? Did you really think, think I had gone, gone away? away? <laughs> well, too bad. Man cannot let go so easily of his weakness. I'm always with you. No, this can't be happening. Farce. You are not my shadow. I know that for two reasons. First, I was able to use my persona in the battle just now. One's persona and shadow are two sides of a coin. If you are my shadow, my persona should have been unusable. Second, you took control of Labrys just now. That's an unusual power far beyond the capabilities of a human like myself. Hmm. I'm sorry to say you've dug yourself a deeper hole by showing off that ability. With a power like that, you could drive a man to extreme acts, which was the missing piece in this case. You mean the hijacking wasn't just the work of a highly motivated crew? Rather, whoever we're talking to now was... It was Labrys's dark wish that we fight each other. But what if someone knew beforehand that that would happen? Labrys has a heart, but she's also a machine. Unlike humans, her memories can be tampered with. By using Labrys, you thought you could orchestrate the disturbance her shadow would create in this world. Your objective is as you just said, to gather Persona users, have them fight, disrupt their hearts, and steal their Personas. That's why you're appearing in the form of my shadow right now, to confuse me. You're the real puppet master behind this case. <laughs> I'm surprised. Very insightful of you now, Toshiragane. Quite impressive work. I didn't expect you to fight back this fiercely. Sadly, it seems things won't be going according to plan this time. But I'll make use of what tools I have to the very end. This is my last chance. No, more like a marvelous entertainment. Now stand, my puppet. Poor thing. It's, it's all worn out because of you. It shouldn't have much strength left to fight. But unless you destroy it, it will keep rising up and attacking you all. What will you do? Shiragane, you need to stand back! 
Wait, if we all attack her, we may end up destroying Labrys. But she's just under its control. If we can release her, she should stop attacking. Huh, is that possible? All right, I'll give it a try. No use. What is that thing? It's not a shadow. It's way too strong. I guess. Prepare for the worst. Try again. Good. Now suffer. Relinquish, Relinquish your personas. Your personas. I see. Now! What? what? What the heck was that? I don't know. I was getting desperate, too. It seemed like something far away stepped in. Ugh, this, this can't, can't be. be! It's just as we thought. The enemy is taking on your appearance and has no connection to you. Feel free to cut loose. There's something I want to ask before I fight. What now? Why did you choose me? Of all the Persona users here, why did you use my face? <laughs> Is that all? Of course I chose you. You were the most unstable of the lot. Never quite sure whether to call yourself a man or a woman. Your indecisiveness made you the perfect prey. There's actually something I've been curious to know all this time. Last year, when my real shadow went berserk, I was forced to the sidelines. It left me wondering whether I could have overcome that other me on my own. This is the perfect chance to find out. I won't hold back an inch.
You're so cool now, Chan! I can't believe you could go that nuts on something that looked like you. It may have taken my shape, but it wasn't me. I had no reason to relent. You'll be coming with us. There are some things we still want to ask you. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is, is fine, fine with me. me. There no were many, many twists, twists and turns along the way, but I'm, I'm not displeased with the results. It was good enough for this time that I confirmed you have the power to meet my expectations. This time, this is only a temporary form. I doubted there'd be any meaning in changing my appearance, but sure enough, it made for a very enjoyable game. I will see you in another guise next time. Just wait until then. <laughs> Wait! Hell no! Don't you dare come back again! What he said! Seriously, that was one sick bastard. Copying Mao-chan was going too fur! Bad enough that it was in violation of my image rights, taking my form like that! I wonder if this is the start of something bigger. Yeah, I don't think we should let our guard down. analysis didn't make it in time, but that was... It's hard to believe. Then again... In any case, you don't have to worry about it. It's our responsibility from here on out. But it was obviously targeting us. We can't shrug and go on our way after that. He's correct. Given that it's taken an interest in us, we must arm ourselves against it. Of course, you should be aware that the enemy is out there, but there is no need to abandon your lives to pursue it. We will do our best to ensure that no harm comes to you. That is, after all, our duty. doing with this ancient TV? Hang on, where'd you even get this? It's a Teddy Vision! You can get out from here! This TV is our escape route? Can we really fit inside? Ooh, are you a little too front-loaded to fit? In that case, I wouldn't mind helping you squeeze through! You're even worse than before, you know that?
really sorry for causing you guys so much trouble. What are you saying? I had a blast meeting you, Labby-chan! Likewise. But I can't believe you didn't notice at all that Kurijo-san was searching high and low for you. You're so thick. That is mysterious. I wouldn't hesitate to answer the call of such a beautiful woman. It must have been because I was having so much fun talking with Labby-chan. She, she never gives it a rest. So, um, what are you going to do now, Labrys? If you need help, we don't mind sheltering you. Yukiko's house is a great hideout. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm planning on working with Mitsuru-san. We're going to catch the scumbag who tried to use you guys. This time, it'll be me that's got your backs. <laughs> sounds promising. It sounds as though you found a place where you belong, then. Sure enough. Come back anytime to hang out, okay? We'll be here for you. Okay. Thanks, you guys. I confess, I had known about the existence of the Shadow Operatives from the start. As I thought. Well, considering what we've both been through, there's no need to keep it hidden from you anymore. Why are you taking the lead even if it risks your life? A woman in your position needn't. A great many people were hurt because of mistakes the Kirijo group made in the past. I won't let it happen again. To leave behind nothing that could jeopardize the future. That's my mission. More than that, it's a vow I made. You've been a real help. About the next step, though, I doubt you'll back down that easily. Who knows? It's not my decision to make. I understand that nothing I say can dissuade you, but I want you to be cautious. Of course, there are those within the Kirijo group who don't think as I do. There are no doubt a lot of dark secrets to be unearthed. The current Kirijo group has drifted away from the family businesses. I am only the founding family's daughter, not the strongest position. <laughs> what an odd warning. It's as if you're showing compassion to your enemy. Well, I too personally hope you find success. You be careful too, Kirijo-san. Just call me Mitsuru. Of course, Mitsuru-san. Well, until next time. What follows are my impressions of the organization called the Shadow Operatives. 
as well as their leader, Mitsuru Kirijo. As a member of the Kirijo Group's founding family, Mitsuru Kirijo strongly wishes for the corporation's stigma to be cleared. Yet the shadow operatives are not ultimately a means for her to clear this stigma. Her first priority is to protect and save those who are at risk. The way she handled the lost cargo in this case made that much clear. Though discarding it would have been more advantageous and it would have been simple to destroy in secret, she chose not to do so. She sees the restoration of the family honor as a byproduct of her true mission. I will continue my secret investigation. It is apparent that the Kirijo group still harbors many dark secrets. Yet I must note that no matter how their internal affairs are worth watching, we need not trouble ourselves overseeing shadow operatives. Mitsuru Kirijo does not shrink from the responsibilities she bears. We will never gain leverage over her based on her family's sins. Even if the true culprit behind this matter has ties to the Kirijo group, she will... No, this report is no place for conjecture. <laughs> I suspect this is only the beginning.
This program has been brought to you care of the following sponsors.